Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. Today we're building a really cool four band resonator, the Resonate module from Nonlinear Circuit in Australia. I've always wanted to get my hands on a quad resonator, so thanks, Andrew. The Resonate is based on the Korg PS3100 resonator circuit. The PS3100 was sort of a polyphonic MS20 sort of thing. It's very rare synth and it's famous for its resonator sound. But the Resonate is a little bit different. For example, there are four bandpass stages instead of three. There's also an adjustable feedback path and CV inputs for each band. There's a single attenuator for CV input one. And if you send CV only to that input, it controls all four bands at once. Each subsequent CV input is normal to the next. So if you send CV to input 2, you control bands 2, 3, and 4. And sending to CV3 controls both bands 3 and 4. Normalization is broken whenever you plug in a cable. So you can also modulate all four bands separately. It has two inputs that get mixed, as well as two outputs, one of which is inverted. This is an 8HP module and very skip friendly. <laughs> Ready to open it up? This came from Australia. From Andrew. It's nonlinear circuits. Here go. Soon. A la camera, ven aquí. Ven aquí conmigo. Andrew sent me the complete bill of materials for this module, so I could make the video. However, he does not offer full kits, only panel and PCB sets, or built modules. It's possible that some vendors may offer kits at some point, but please note that as of September 2018, you have to source your own parts. The PDF build guide includes the BOM, notes on proper parts sourcing, schematics, PCB layout, panel template, and more. I'll include a link to it in the video description. This was the first SMD module I built since the triple attenuating mixer several months ago, so I was very out of practice. My work looks terrible, but the module works. This is one I'll never sell, it's mine for life. There are many ways to do SMD, but as I don't have a reflow oven, a rework station or a hot air gun, I went with thin solder, tweezers and desoldering braid as usual. In SMD, it makes more sense to start with the ICs rather than the resistors. I use a technique called drag soldering. First I tin one of the corner pins, hold the chip in position with my tweezers and reflow the solder at the tin pin to hold the IC in place. Then I just apply solder over all the pins, not minding if they get bridged. After that I use some desoldering braid to remove the excess and this removes all the bridges too. It works pretty well. Even if you do solder each pin separately without making bridges, I recommend the braid because it's very likely you have too much solder on there anyways if you're using an iron. Next come the resistors and ceramic capacitors. These are pretty small. Personally, I have to use a magnifier to see them well enough to work. Be very careful not to lose them too. If one falls on your rug, it's gone. What I do is tin one terminal for each component first, then hold the component in place with the tweezers, reflow the tin pad, then solder the other one. This takes practice, so don't be discouraged if your work looks ugly. As long as the connections are made, bridges are avoided, Polarities and values are correct, it should work just as well as a super clean and perfectly robotic job. So after you solder on the rectifiers, go ahead and assemble your homemade Vactrols. I used the enclosures Andrew sent me to make the Vactrols, but they're a little bit bulky. I actually think the shrink tube method from my $3 low pass gate video might be better suited for this module. There's also an LED that goes right on the board and it's part of the circuit. Andrew recommends you use a blue LED for this. Once the Vactrols are assembled and installed, go ahead and add the headers that communicate the two boards together, as well as the power header. Attach and tighten the spacer, then place the jacks and pots without soldering them. Secure the panel, making sure everything fits, then solder it all up. Take note that the holes for the jacks are very large, so the jacks can get kind of twisted as you tighten the nuts on the panel. If you want a neat looking job, make sure your jacks are nice and straight before you solder them. Now just add the control knobs and you're done. Check the power header for shorts and plug it in. My module worked right on power up, but I had a few issues I'd like to address here. One is that I found a routing mistake on the board. The wipers for the two first frequency knobs are swapped, so turning knob 1 actually affects band 2 and vice versa. My fix was to clip the wipers and jump them straight to their respective pads on the main board. 
Andrew is now aware of this and he'll soon publish his suggested fix which will not require you to chop the pot wipers. The other thing was that some bands seemed to resonate more than others. So I changed the values of some of the summing resistors. They're the 100k resistors that go around the TL074 quad op amp at the bottom of the board. I would make the problem frequency resonate, then probe with my scope to find which of the TL074 outputs was resonating, and then change that resistor to 200k. I did that to two of the frequencies and got them to be much more balanced. Finally, there's an issue mentioned in the manual, which is that on some builds the output may drift slowly towards one or the other power rail due to an imbalance in the Vectrals. The fix is simple, adding an AC coupling capacitor to the op amp output relative to the offending band. You may preemptively perform this fix on all four bands. Board revision 3 will have this issue already solved for you. My module does do this, so I'll have to perform the fix myself as well. But it's working well enough for now. That's it, it was a challenging job due to my being out of practice with SMD and the little tweaks I had to do, but oh so worth it. I absolutely love how this module sounds and functions. Stay tuned for my demo of it coming very soon, and you'll see what I mean, it's truly a wonderful module. See you very soon and stay noisy!